My name is Megan White. And you know, we all have issues. And how we deal with those makes us who we are. Okay, who's ever been on a merry-go-round and you spun around and around and around? And then you get off and you're still spinning and spinning and spinning. I did that. I did get on the merry-go-round and I spun for four and a half months. Go figure. Cheap date. I didn't have to get drunk. Amazing. So what do you do? I went to the doctor. And he said, oh, let's go get an MRI. Let's figure out what's going on. So I did. Ray scary. So they found out things that I didn't want to know, but they did rule some things out. OK, so I don't have a viral infection. Woohoo! I'm so glad. More questions. Now what? More tests. So I went and got more tests, da 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 end up at a neurologist. Guess what? He said, you have MS. What's that? Am I one of Jerry's kids? He said, call the MS Society. Get as much information as you can. So I did. They calmly said, life isn't over. It's just different. They have been with me this five years. As of this month, I've had MS. They've been with me the entire journey. So I still have vertigo. I'm still dizzy. So I had a therapy. Steroids, can you tell? I had steroids. <laughs> Horrible. I hate needles. But God has a way of having a sense of humor. Lots of needles, lots of needles. But that's okay. But some days I get out of bed and I'm like, woohoo, I'm out. But then there are those days where I roll out of bed, go in my wheelchair. You know what? I like to do the butt looking too. You can get away with it in your wheelchair. It's great. But it's just perspective. But then there are those days, oh, getting out of bed, I have to take my pajamas off. Can I just put my sweats over my pajamas? I've done it. Ask my family. But I just can't go on anymore. But you still have to function in life, right? See my hands? This is what my hands feel like. Putting mascara. I was backstage. It took me five attempts just to get it on my eyelashes. That's my daughter. She did a better job at one. Crazy, huh? Well, these are things I do not take for granted. Buttoning my pants. Really? And ladies, you have all the different kinds of buttons and zips and stuff. Tying shoes. Really? It cross, over, under. Doing my daughter's hair, bless her heart. I know she's eight now. She loves to do hair. This is one thing that just kills me, literally. I feel like I have pins and needles just everywhere on every ounce of my body. My husband's like, hey, honey, how are you doing? Okay, honey, are you almost done? Okay, love it. Okay, love it. You want to do what? Hi, my name is Megan White. Oh, wait, I already did that. Um, cognitive issues. Oh my gosh, as mothers, we have to remember everything. I'm lucky to remember that I have four kids, and where did I leave them? <laughs> I know, my kids make fun of me. But this is why I do what I do. This girl right here, her mom has MS. She has done the symptoms. I go around and I talk to schools and educate people that, you know what, we still have to function. She now respects her mother for all issues. I have a new fun drug. It's called Tasabri, and guess what? More needles! I go in and it's slowing down the progression of my MS so I can do things like talk to you guys and stay out of the wheelchair. I mean, I love it, but this is also why I get to do it. I run marathons. Well, I use that term loosely. Okay, so the bus was behind me as they were finishing and opening up the, the um, things, but I moved to my ability. And I challenge every one of you, with an issue or not, Park further away from the door to the store. Do more walking. Do more exercise. Because if you don't use it, guess what? You're going to lose it. So move to your ability. I try to be a voice, just like so many other people. You know what? I have a passion, not because I feel like I'm a victim. I am a survivor. I have MS, and I want people to be heard, and I want people to know that we still have to live. Unfortunately, when you have MS, it's not just you. It's your family. I feel bad for my family. They have to put up with me. I don't remember things. I don't, I'm moody. I am such a hard person to live with. But they're the ones that keep me so strong. So you wonder, how can I make a difference? Pray. God is an amazing God. Volunteer your time. Your, donate your money. You know what? Ask questions. We have so many fun things for the MS Society. And I just tell you what, the MS Society has been with me the whole time. They've been with me the entire journey. So you know what? Find out more about the MS Society, and I want to thank you so much. I hope you walk away with a little bit of curiosity. What is MS? You know what? I will tell you after this is over. All right, I hope to see you then.